Hashtag Descartes' Error by Kate Fogarty. Have you ever wondered why Gene Roddenberry made James T. Kirk the captain of the Enterprise and not Mr. Spock? Wouldn't someone less susceptible to their emotions make better decisions and therefore be a better leader? Some people sure think so. Thanks to a French philosopher named René Descartes and some bros like Plato and Immanuel Kant, roughly 400 years of science has poo-pooed the role of emotions in a person's true being. These rationalists believe that to obtain optimal results, you gotta kill the feelings. Turns out, nothing could be wronger. I think, therefore, I am. René Descartes Antonio Damasio, a neuroscientist who literally wrote the book on hashtag Descartes' error, calls the belief that the best decision-making process is unencumbered by emotion, high reason view. He also says it's hooey, though in more scientific terms. Damasio's evidence can be summarized by the story of Elliot, a patient whose life went to hell in a handbasket because a tumor ate away the part of his brain that creates emotions. Elliot should have been rationalist's shining example. The removal of his frontal lobe had turned him into a real-life Vulcan, intelligent but free from emotional interference. Instead, Elliot went from being a solid, salt-of-the-earth guy to suddenly incapable of making decisions, even small ones. He could thoroughly list the pros and cons for each choice, but he couldn't figure out which of the criteria were more important to him. He didn't know if he felt more like eating pizza or burgers. He also couldn't finish work projects, maintain a marriage, or realize he was being duped by a con man. I actually can't decide if you should live long or prosper, Mr. Spock. So unless you've had your frontal lobe removed like Elliot, you can't separate your feelings from thoughts, no matter how much you worship science and reason. It was a nice idea, but like haircuts that try to separate the business from the party, it just don't work. Having our emotions connected to our thoughts helps us make important decisions, like who to marry. But it's also why facts don't change our minds. To offset this, we must learn to think slow. Knowing about hashtag Descartes' error is integral in understanding how your brain works because it can help you become wise. The ancient Greeks weren't wrong about everything. To know thyself is the beginning of wisdom. Socrates. Forget stuffing your emotions pretending they don't exist. I'm looking at you, Mr. Spock. If you want to command the enterprise and lead us to a better society, you're going to need all of your humanity. This is step one. Want to read more about your feelings? Try The Righteous Mind, Why Good People Are Divided by Politics and Religion by Jonathan Haidt.